Good morning. I hope everybody's doing well. Welcome back or welcome to my channel. Um, my name is Gabby. I'm an illustrator, painter, drawer. I'm a drawer. I hold clothes. It's my passion. Um, today I'm just doing a little character design painting. I'm kind of messing around with um, doing a more traditional painting for color and then I'm going to take this drawing digitally um, and ink it. So that's what we're working on. Um, I just showed my, my little sketches. I'm using my gouache palette, but I'm actually using the Holbein acrylic gouache that I actually reviewed in my last video. Um, I really enjoy them and I'm still uh, getting used to them and I feel like it shows maybe. But um, yeah, so it's kind of hard to see, but I have a little um, light blue sketch of this character um, that I did with a, like a Prismacolor Call Race pencil. Um, when I'm working traditionally, which is not very often, that's usually what I end up using um, to, you know, sketch out, do my do my little plan. Um, and yeah, that that's what we're working on today. Um, it's funny, this video took so long to see the light of day um that first little like video where I was showing the sketches and the the paper I had made like a homemade crappy tripod where I just had like a lamp a floor lamp with a, an adjustable arm and I had used like artist's wire to like dangle my phone from the light part um and film and I had done that for my first video but then I guess like the weight of my phone was simply too much. So like while I was filming that, I left, I cut it out, but like it, the base cracked and like dropped the phone onto my head and it was just really dramatic. So then I had to order a, an actual tripod off Amazon. So hopefully things are a little less wobbly. Uh, but you know, I, I'm doing this for fun. So if it's a little wobbly, you know, we're just going to have to deal with it. But, um, uh, <laughs> Yeah, so I, the, basically the idea of this was I, I really like the texture of um, like painting traditionally, but I personally just don't feel like I have enough control to get like the portfolio pieces that I want out of traditional painting. So I, I really am just laying down like very flat colors with it and just kind of enjoying like the brush stroke look um, that the gouache is giving me. And yeah, then pretty soon here, I think, yep, this is the, you know, the finished painting. So I'm going to pull it off my um, watercolor block and I'm going to scan it. And then we're going to go into Procreate, which is the app that I use on my iPad. So now I've moved into Procreate. Um, I'm just going to start with doing a little bit of color correcting and um, putting some light shadows just where I think they're going to be. There's also tons of white spots on the paper I got really lazy doing this. I was like, oh, you know, I don't have to like fill in every spot. I'll fix it digitally, which maybe uh, isn't the best way to work, but that's, that's sort of where we ended up. Um, but now I'm going in for my inking. Um, if anybody's interested, I mean, I just use Procreate and this is the dry, no, not the dry brush. This is the marker pen. I think it's an inking. Um, Marker pen is my favorite. I'm pretty much using it for all of my inking right now. Um, it's just got that, that nice crunch on the edges. It's good. Um, and it's easy. It's simple. It does have an issue where, like, if you use not black, it has super weird layering effects that I hate. But you can go into the settings of the brush, and I, I can't remember exactly how, but you can change it so that it doesn't layer like that. Um, and that's, that's my brush. I pretty much use that for all my inking. Uh, yeah, we're just going in and doing these, these cute little faces. And I just really liked the red of the dress. I was like in a mood to draw like a big poofy dress with, you know, bloomers and, you know, fluff. So that's what we're doing. Um, yeah, the weather is finally getting cooler. That's lovely. Um, I woke up this morning and I, got my coffee and I was freezing to death. I had to put on a sweater and like my slippers, which I, I'm really into. So hopefully I'm going to get to do some like fall cooking and, you know, actually turn my oven on because I won't 
like die of heat if I if I do. So that's that's pretty great. I don't know. Are we thinking about Halloween costumes yet? I feel like I haven't gotten to do a Halloween costume in so long. But Halloween is my favorite holiday, so I really wanna I want to do something fun. My fiance and I we've been watching like or we were planning on watching like a different scary movie every day in October, but we've kind of gotten a head start. So we just watched uh Sweeney Todd last night which I haven't watched in forever but was like my favorite movie when I was an angsty emo teen so that was nice and yeah I I am excited for October I want to I think I'm gonna do like Inktober on my Instagram hopefully like I want to do smaller like more realistic to accomplish everyday type illustrations with a spooky vibe. I might do them traditionally just because I feel like I need the practice, which would be really fun. Um, but you know, I might do them not traditionally. I might do them digitally. I like to keep people on their toes, you know, with my content. You never know what you're going to get. Um, really thrilling stuff. Um, so I, I finished the inking here and now I'm kind of going in and doing, I did some like highlights and like a really hot pink that I put on a blending layer to just like smooth out a little bit and now I'm going in with like a light blue to um put in some shadows this like whole drawing ended up very primary colors which I'm sort of into and I know there's no yellow on this right now but like I, I go in and I put the signature sparkles everywhere um sparkles is a horrible word sparkles um and I throw on top just like an orange base layer. Um, I kind of do this with all of my digital drawings. Like I get to the end and I'm like, Hmm, I'm not sure about these colors, but if you just like, you know, quick dig tip, if you <laughs> dig tip, um, if you like just throw a solid color on top of your drawing and you just put it in blending modes, I usually end up on overlay. Um, it'll kind of just make your colors look a little more cohesive, or at least that's what I've found. And if you want to hop in the comments and tell me how totally wrong I am, please do. Um, but yeah, we're nearing the end of the video. Thank you guys so much. Um, have a great day and let's do something creative today. Let's have fun. All right. Bye.